At the beginning of the 21st century, emerging technologies enter all spheres of our life. In modern educational institutions, emerging technologies play a crucial role in the development of learners and the competitive position of the educational establishment. The task of the educational sphere is to communicate benefits and goals, strategic priorities, and advantages of the new structure to stakeholders. My desire to enter the course of emerging technologies is a result of careful analysis and personal needs. Trying to keep abreast of time and the social dynamics of modern consumer cultures, emerging technologies become risque for common people. I am sure that the education at Emerging Technologies course will help me to become one of the best educators in my country and create a new world of teaching and learning. Emerging technologies become more risque because it makes people dependent on it. Most of them consider emerging technologies as a radical way of opposing the traditional education practices, and even more radical ideas for what to do after they've gotten rid of them. I am a very ambitious and hardworking person who honors a membership in the National Honor Society. I suppose that emerging technology frequently becomes a driving force if it is developed and implemented without consideration of the social system, which is usually adjusted after a technology has been introduced. Yet, technology does not have to be a fixed factor, it offers choices and options. While this is no revolutionary insight, in the context of presently emerging technologies the choices made have far-reaching consequences. I hope that these personal qualities and explorations will help me to create innovative approaches in education and teaching and present them as an art form. Most people are unsatisfied with old techniques and ways to express themselves looking for extraordinary ways to become unique. In recent years, the education field has been influenced by global economic changes. It concerns the type of learning production and raw materials, new technology, a new system of global manufacture, and the rise of national economies. The main industry demands are visibility and agility. These factors have a great influence on emerging technologies and strategic planning. On the international scale, emerging technologies are faced with differences in learners' skills and needs, economic levels, market structures, ways of doing business, laws, and regulations. A continuum of resource sustainability is composed of the world's resources and capabilities characterized by their durability and imitation. These resources and capabilities are distinctive competencies because they provide a sustainable advantage in the Emerging Technologies program. The admission to the Emerging Technologies program will change my life and help me to become a real professional in this field. I suppose that regardless of the nature of change, the emerging technologies in education innovate and develop their products and systems in response to the factors mentioned above. I am a hard-working person so I will do my best to master knowledge and skills and achieve the highest results in this sphere. I would like to enter the Emerging Technologies program because its programs and curriculum best meet my career goals and life expectations. The most important factors for change in modern education include changing the lifestyle of learners and demand patterns. I have a deep passion for the art of education and hope that I will be able to change the industry bringing novelty and new artistic vision to new leadership styles. Such phenomenon as cultural globalization receives the development. The Emerging Technologies program operates as a form of play binding modern society together and allowing balance between the opposing forces of the individual and society. Study Corgi can help you make your studies smarter. Visit studycorgi.com for more samples like this, study tips, and writing tools.